If a particular IP has been properly associated with its IP bundle, in this example the R0P452 RAL version of Cortex-A53, you can launch the configuration flow by double-clicking on the corresponding IP catalog entry. Since in our case we haven't created a Socrates project yet under the Project Explorer tab, the tool automatically asks for creating one. After specifying a project name and clicking Finish, the tool will launch the configuration wizard for the selected IP, where you can set all the necessary IP parameters via their drop-down menu. If you start modifying the default parameter settings, you will see that the tool will flag you immediately if you set something invalid and provide the reason for the error, so these built-in on-the-fly checks ensure that your applied IP configuration is valid. In this example, as we specified cache protection for the L1 instruction and data caches, we also need to enable cache protection for the L2 data caches, as they are also present in the SCU. After your configuration is free of errors and you set all the parameters, you can click Next and complete the configuration process by providing a unique component name. The Build Automatically option is selected by default and means that your configured IP deliverables will be rendered automatically into your project area after clicking Finish. If you unselect this Build Automatically option, then your configuration will only be populated into the so-called configured component XML file that you can see under your project, but you will be able to render the deliverables anytime by selecting the build icon. If you now select the configured component under your project, you can check the parameter settings and the different types of interfaces on the IP boundary. Regarding the parameters, the ones displayed with bold letters indicate that these are different from the default setting. If you want to change your existing Cortex-A53 component configuration, you don't necessarily need to create a new configuration instance, you can just select Reconfigure from the right-click menu, or click the rightmost icon in the top right corner of the context-sensitive editor, change the corresponding parameters accordingly, and the tool will update your configuration and render the new deliverables by overriding the existing ones. If you select the Navigator tab, you can view your project contents as they exist in the file system, so if you expand it, here you can see all the different Cortex-A53 related deliverables that have been rendered into your project area.